Roger, go ahead. I'm gonna, I can't get them now because they're behind that building. Uh, anybody has an element? Call we got an RPG. Alright, we got a guy with an RPG. I'm gonna fire. Okay, no, hold on, let's come around. Let's come from our point of view. Yeah, we're gonna come around. I'm gonna get them come around. I'm gonna get them come around. I'm gonna get them come around. I'm getting ready to fire. We won't get Yeah, we got a guy shooting. Now he's behind the building. Roger, God damn it. Uh, no, he was uh, right in front of the Brad, uh, about there, 1 o'clock. Haven't seen anything since then. Just fucking, once you get on, just open up. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. Um, uh, I see your element. You got uh, well, about four Humvees uh, out along this. Uh, You're clear. Uh, All right, firing. Line here. With the state line, uh, let me know when you get it. We'll shoot. Light them all up. Come on, fire. Hey, Roger. Keep shoot. Keep shoot. Bush Master, two things. Bush Master, two things. We need to move time now. Alright, we just engaged all eight individuals. Yeah, we got two birds. We're still firing. Roger. Got him. Two six. It's a two six. We're moving. We got this. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I was on the gun. God damn it, Kyle. Alright. Let's take it. Let's take it. Taken to court last year, so we've been at every court appearance, okay. virtually and outside of every court appearance. I take oh, a war it? resistor stance on what Assange is doing. The guy's a war resistor. He's um, published important information so that we can all know what's been going on in Iraq, Afghanistan, all mm -hmm. around the world. Really, you know, we're talking about killing, torture, destruction of people's homes, you know, mm -hmm. the trashing of people's countries. Yeah. And he's been responsible for, for releasing that information. Mm -hmm. So we're here to support him as a war resistor. Uh, we don't think this would be happening if he wasn't the head of WikiLeaks. Mm -hmm. I think this trial has been politicised. Um, he hasn't faced any charges, doesn't face any charges. Uh, he's offered the Swedes to come over here and uh, interview him. They haven't. So. We're here to support Julian. Uh, we don't think that he should be extradited. And that's why we've been turning up to all his trials. There's many motivations for war. Um, resources is one of the big ones. You know, control of the oil supply. Since World War II, that's been a, an aim of the West. 
uh, to control the oil supply and make sure that we've got plenty of oil. Um, also you've got vested interests in wars, so like the military like to fight wars, arms company like wars to be fought so they can sell munitions. So I think there's different parts of society who have a different interest in wars being fought. Um, except for the, the people who have basically get no benefit out of war, we just see the worst sides of it. My name's Kieran O'Reilly and I'm originally from Queensland, Australia, where Julian Assange is from. We all spent, also spent over a year in prison in the United States for the disarming of people to keep on. So I know the significance of solidarity for anti-war resistance and I regard both Bradley Manning and uh, Julian Assange as uh, anti-war resistance. And when you're before the courts and when you're facing jail, uh, you need as many people around you as possible. You know, actually it's quite interesting because this where we're standing was the edge of a great empire at one stage, the Roman Empire. Then it became the centre of a huge empire in which the sun never set, the British Empire. And now uh, it seems the government here seems to be just servicing the American Empire, which is the largest, most destructive one that's ever existed in human history. And um, so, you know, they've been, they, when the US Empire says jump to Britain and Ireland and Australia and every other country says how high do you want us to jump on, who do you want us to jump? Well, there's the old saying, uh, I don't know if it was the Quakers or someone else, uh, the first casualty of war is the truth. And today, um, as we speak, uh, do secret documents from NATO have just been released that uh, the, they know the Pakistan military have been supporting the Taliban. They expect the Taliban to take over when NATO forces leave. Uh, and that's been the case for over 10 years. And uh, the lie, of course, is that the Pakistan military have been working with uh, the West against the Taliban. The WikiLeaks has given us the evidence straight straight from the horse's mouth, which is uh, the US cables from embassies um, exposing uh, the subterfuge and the lies that have been told to facilitate this war and uh, send young men and women from the city to kill and die in Afghanistan and Iraq. <laughs> Expose the nature of the killing, which is of course slaughter, it's cowardly. You look at the collateral murder damage, the killings are taken from two miles away from a helicopter gunship two Reuters journalists, nine other civilians. So that's the nature of their war, you know, and uh, and it's great to have that evidence to back up what we've been arguing for years. George Jackson, the Black Panther, who uh, assassinated a Soledad prison once said, freedom of the press is for those who own one. So citizens media is very central to get the truth out. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, no worries. So many people, so many backgrounds, so many different
What we face today, what we face today is, a is a systematized destruction of the rule of law. People are being laundered through Guantanamo Bay to obey the rule of law. And money is being laundered through the Cayman Islands and London to obey the rule of law. This movement is not about the destruction of law. It is about the construction of law. It is about the construction of law. 